Welcome to our balcony cabin tour on the Anthem of the Seas. We stayed in number 11250, which is on the port side, so midship. So, Paulie Morgan opens the door. That's the first thing that's strange, the door opens out. It does, and to get in, you need to do, um, just tap your card on the door. So here we are. We've been very, very happy with this cabin. Um, let's start at the door. So on the door, you've got obviously, when we came in, we had to do the muster station on the TV. And then we had to go to our assembly station there, which is all the information is there, which was very straightforward, isn't it, yeah. Paul? We got a little magnetic little doofer <laughs> so that you can put on there if you want your cabin made up or if you want to lie in, whatever you want to do. So, um, and that's worked perfectly, hasn't it? Um, Temperature controls are all here, and we've had no issues with that. You have to insert your card for all the electric to work, so don't forget that when you come in. And then we come to the bathroom, which is a brilliant size, isn't it, Paul? Yeah. Wow. You know, we're we're not small by any means, um, it but it's idea. just Paul will do the shower test. So if you can see, it's the foot space. It's really big. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no shower curtain. We hate shower curtains, don't we? And the shower is powerful, hot. Um, just stay in there when I go around. <laughs> so we'd be very happy with that. Um, and not much else to say about bathroom. Bathroom's a bathroom, isn't it? But if you look, you've got your shaver point, which we've got our toothbrush in. Storage um, at the top there and at the bottom. And, yeah, nice white fluffy towels. What more do you need? Now into the main cabin... Our cabin steward, Omar, has been awesome, and he, Paul. Yeah. Um, today's my birthday, if you didn't guess, and he's made us a cake out of towels. Um, and as you go around, we'll see we've kept a few other animals that he's done. Yeah. But let's talk about the storage in this cabin, because I don't think we've been in a cabin that's had as much. So we've got a wardrobe here, a full wardrobe um, that's mine. <laughs> and then we've also got, which we didn't find um, straight away, but if Paul shows the top... But there's drawers as well. Oh, no, not, not drawers in that one. That's, that's the other side. There's two huge um, compartments here. And you'll see we've managed to put the little suitcase in the other one. Gives you some idea about it. Of how big it is. So that's fabulous. And the other case has gone under the bed. Yes. Our bigger case. Bed's been very, very comfortable. Um, no USB ports on the lamps. Um, however, there is a, an American-style flat pin on this side, but nothing has been on your side, has it, Paul? Yeah. So, um, but there's plenty of other sockets that we'll show you in a moment. But let's just go to this wardrobe, Paul, so we can show... Very comprehensive. We've got a safe, there's a, a digital safe that's um, a good size, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got some drawers down the bottom as well. So, um, yeah, two big, yeah two big drawers. So that's fine. Um, go to the TV now um, and our cruise compasses. These are the information that gets sent to your cabin every day. But you can access electronically everything on the TV. So Paul's just going to show that, obviously, for example, dining. Um, so if you want to book any dining or you want to find out what dining is okay. available... You just click on dining, and then it'll tell you complimentary dining or dining that co comes with an extra charge or all dining. Now tonight, because it's Carol's birthday, mm. we've booked, as you can see, yeah, Wonderland, which looks pretty amazing. Look at that! So we can't wait to show you um, what that uh, restaurant's got to offer because it just sounds very, very strange and bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> so here we have our charging station. <laughs> and um, uh, a mirror and in here you've got your hair dryer which I used um, which I've been using and it's absolutely they're not powerful powerful are they but they do the job and then we've got a little seat um, just next to there and also a fridge which isn't it's got looks like it's got a lock on but it's not getting in we've just been buying well not buying on the drinks package you can get cans of water they're quite plastic friendly aren't they yeah, on here which is good to see well, so um well, yes, yeah, a little a chair. With a little handball. Yeah. So, and we've got tea and coffee facilities that Omar's just been um, topping up for us as we want, and two decent sized mugs. This is uh, um, our sofa here, which well, we've not really used, have we really? But um, some of the sofas can go out into another bed. There's a bear in there. Oh, yes, and there's our bear that we came home to yesterday. 
So, and more storage. We haven't even used, we've used that top one for all our masks and gadgets, but um, yeah, so plenty. Now, out onto the balcony, um, we booked, this is a standard uh, midship on, balcony, you're going to open the door. <laughs> and as you can see, it's slightly larger. Now, we did our research before we came away, and I'll put a picture of some deck plans um, here just to show you what we exactly mean. Because we're on the jetty bit of the ship, um, this is looking forward which you can't see the front of the ship, which is a negative part of it, but we're looking back. And as you can see, from this corner over here, we've got this extra space. So that's where our balcony would finish. Would In fact, I'm going to show you next doors because I know there's nobody there, so I'm not invading anyone's privacy, but you'll see that's a normal. And we've got all this space here. And it's been lovely. We've had some good work yet. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so do your research, look at deck plans, and for the same money that you're going to pay, you could sometimes get some extra space. Um, yeah, anything else to add about the cabin, Paul? Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, so this is cabin 11250 on the um, Anthem of the Seas, and we could happily stay here for a month. Um, shame we're only here for four days. Yeah, um, last day today. Boo. Yeah, so we hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. For more cruising information, watch these videos next.